Morning Talk. I'm Austin Breed coming to you live from our Tower District Studios inside the Mike Briggs building. We thank you for joining us. Connect with me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Austin Reed on Air. If you saw that picture just before I popped up, that's because that was a little tease for my guest, my next guest today. And here in the Mike Briggs Studios, please welcome. How do you say your name? I don't want to mess it up. Evelyn. 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 Oh, well, well, that's easy. Balajas? <laughs> Balajas. Okay, very good. All right. Well, Evelyn, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here. Absolutely. All right. So tell everybody your business. So I started a freelance work not very long ago, probably about a year that I've really been doing digital artwork. And I also started doing pop-ups like Art Hop and things like that around Fresno. So that's what I've been doing, and that's what I've been focusing on and trying to grow my art career. Awesome. And uh, have you always, like, can you remember as a, as a kid being an artist? Yeah. So, okay. I, I mean, that's probably what every artist says, right? Yeah. I've been drawing my whole life. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, it's true. It's true. But I've honestly started focusing on it more in the last two years probably yeah. two years okay that i really started doing the digital artwork right and and going from the, so talk about how important it is to have digital artwork because it is it really is trending right now like on my instagram i've got a digital picture of me uh I, oh and i put it on my business card as well oh, nice. you know because yeah it's trending right now Right. So, no, that that honestly is is very huge, especially for um, new upcoming artists like myself. I'm self-taught, right? So, and I'm still learning, but now it's just so accessible, you know. And I really, um, I really started focusing on it mm -hmm. when I got a, a an iPad for my birthday. Okay. My husband gifted me an iPad nice. in 2020. Okay. During the pandemic. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. You needed something I, to do. Yeah, so that's when I had the most time. And that's how I started working. But it's really nice because you have all your colors and brushes and, you know, just everything at your fingertips. Right, right. And there's so many YouTube tutorials, so many artists offering courses now that it's really opened up the door for a lot of artists. Right, you know, like right. myself that I didn't go to art school. So wh who is your perfect customer? Oh, that's a great question. I think that for me, it, it's been, um, I'm still like navigating that and what I've discovered, because I still feel like I'm very new, mm. you know, very new, still learning. Um, for me, because I draw what I know from my, from my experiences, from my culture, um, it seems to attract anyone that appreciates the culture and uh, the diversity and just representation. Right. That's that's what I've noticed and realized. And you know, like I mentioned, I just draw what I know mm -hmm. and what I'm familiar with. You know, from my experiences, I draw um, daughters all the time because I have two daughters. Oh, you do. Oh, you're like me. Have, yeah. How old are they? <laughs> Um, ten and one's about to be eleven. Those oh. nine. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh wow! So you got three. No two. Well, oh, two. no two. two. Oh okay. Two. Wait. Oh, it's she's about, about to be eleven. Oh, okay. And then the other okay. ones, yeah, nine. Yeah. yeah. So you do yeah. a lot of kid, kid, because uh, yes. oh yeah, parents love that, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, I think did you you brought some pictures along yes, with I you did. today? I so did. I want to start uh, going through those. So Marcus, let's uh, put the first one up. So. Uh, walk us through this one. Beautiful. Yeah, thank you. So this one for me is just, uh, it, it symbolizes the modern woman just empowered. So you can see in her attitude, she's very bold and right. she's just going to go after her dreams no matter what. That's that's what this signifies. All right. I need to, uh, I need to put that in my house for oh. my girls, you know, because it's <laughs> true. It's true. Yeah. And so for this, this one, as true. I mentioned, I draw a lot of daughters and mothers. So for me, this one, um, I wanted to capture the traditional Mexican clothing, as you can see. And this one's just a mother embracing her daughter, just like kind of assuring her right. that you can do this, uh, be courageous, yeah. be brave, like you got this. Yeah. Uh, next one, I think, has to do with Halloween. Halloween. It's coming yeah, up. So it's coming up. So I thought it would be perfect. <laughs> yes. Yeah, definitely. Um, so for this one's kind of like a fun one, kind of like where I'm trying to um, also develop my career, like mm -hmm. children's book illustrations and things like that. Um, yeah. 
So for this one, I'm not sure if you're familiar with the character. So the little girl's dressed as a chilindrina and the boy is dressed as El Chavo, which is the characters from a very popular Mexican show oh, back in the Oh, in 80s, Mexico. 80s, 90s. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. So, um, so the reason, um, you know, as I mentioned, like I draw from my experiences, I, right? Yeah, yeah. So for this character, it's 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 supposed to be like a homemade costume. Like it's a costume that you could put together very easily, you know, with things you have at home. And yeah. I myself was the Chilindra a few times for Halloween, uh -huh. you know. Um, so this resembles like a brother and sister. You know, I imagine my brother closest to me. We're trick or treating out in the in the streets in the neighborhood, yeah. and you can see the brothers. Like the the boy is a little bit embarrassed right. but the the sister she's just happy as can be to be trick-or-treating you know matching costumes with her with her brother <laughs> i love that that's well, have you done any um colorings for kids books yet no oh so well you need to do that i'm working on some okay. special projects okay. i don't have you know all the details that i can share yet but it's it's definitely stay tuned in the works all right yeah. all right super exciting this is perfect little thing is that a family photo or no is it three young three little girls L okay three kids yes. okay three kiddos so okay. this art print was actually created for a fundraiser mm -hmm. and it was it's for the uh non non-profit girasoles and marcha which focuses on creating workshops and just different opportunities for girls of color to embrace their culture awesome. to be uh, to just lift each other up right. um so this was created for that reason and at the very top in spanish it says somos semillas which means we are seeds okay. so um, this one we have raised over $500 we're very close to our goal which has been $600 so with the purchase of this print all the proceeds go to the to the organization that is awesome I love it we have one more yes one more. Christmas is also coming yes, up Yes, it's right around the <laughs> oh, corner we've got two more my bad <laughs> Yeah, so for this one, um, it's it's kind of simple, right? So here you can see the mother who is still in her clothes from the from work from the day, and her daughter is like in her pajamas now, and she put together the Christmas tree, and her little daughter is just in awe. So you notice that the the tree is on top of a box. So this is something that I lived through. My mother would purchase the smallest tree and just elevate it, put it on a box of furniture just yeah. to make it taller. Right, right. And yeah. I didn't really notice that until I was much older. And the reason for that is because those are the most affordable ones. The right. the bigger trees are always right. a lot more yeah, expensive. Yeah, you're darn right there. Yeah. But you know, it doesn't as, matter it though. Doesn't there was still matter. the tree. That's the story. Yes, yep, it's the right. intention behind yeah. it. And so this to me signifies the real meaning of Christmas, right? right? It's yep. just being together, yes. enjoying each other, and just doing, you know, these kind gestures for each other. Right. Yeah, yeah loving family right. and friends. Right. All right, last but not least. Oh, so I just uh, have a flyer that'll be an upcoming event. Oh, yeah, perfect. We'll be, now, did you I'll do be, this flyer as well? No, I didn't. Oh, okay. So I'm just sharing it okay. as, you know, for right. a, We'll be there at the fall market and with a lot of other amazing vendors. If y'all want to go check out, you know, the vendors, and I'll be there as well selling my, my artwork. And and where is this going to be happening? This is in Moravia Wines, the winery. In oh, Fresno. okay. Yeah, oh, it's for cool. October 7th. Awesome. October 7th. All yeah, right. Yeah. Um, People can learn more, of course, on your Instagram. They can yes, follow you. Yes. Um, any other, uh, is that the best place to reach out, would you say? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I spend most of my focus and time on Instagram connecting with, yeah. you know, amazing people, meeting new people and other artists and just uh, meeting other local uh, small businesses here in the in the area. Well, uh, you'll have to come back when the... Uh, book pictures are, are out okay and then <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll debut that'll them that'll be fun that'll very be good fun. Yeah, good to sure. meet you Evelyn nice thank you, you. thank you so All much right. for having me our pleasure I'm Austin Reed this is Central Valley Talk <laughs>